welcome you our viewers to yet another refreshing time as we study together the word of god in the bible study program sponsored by the diocese of ife anglican communion wherever you may be hearing us or viewing us across the globe we do enjoy that you properly seated and then uh, follow through as we share the word of God together. Uh, with me in the studio this uh, evening, we have a uh, mommy to sit at to my left hand side. Yes, ma. Mrs. Demitope Adesoji. You are welcome, ma. Thank you, sir. And to my right, we have our brother. Mr. Taiwo Laolono. You are also welcome, my brother. Thank you, sir. You as at home, as we normally do say, you want to reach us either through SMS or WhatsApp, whether for question or for you want to hear more of you, you can do so on 081-4719-4912. 081-471-94912. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. So let us pray. Faithful Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity you granted unto us to come this day to look at your word and to share together. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you open the eyes of our understanding. Amen. And as we discuss and people here, may we also be blessed Amen. and richly impacted Amen. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are looking at an all important topic today. Uh, which says ungodly practices in marketplace embezzlement. Ungodly practices in marketplace embezzlement. And therefore, the test for reference, we want to look at Luke chapter 16. Uh, we take the reading from verse 1 to 15. Mommy, please kindly read for us. There was it. There was a certain rich man, which had a steward, and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. And he called him and said unto him, How is it that I hear this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship, for thou mayest be no longer steward. Then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? For my Lord taketh take away from me. The stewardship I cannot dig to I cannot dig to beg I am ashamed. I am resolved what to do that when I'm put out of the stewardship they may receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his lost debtors unto him and said unto the first, How much owest thou unto my Lord? And he said, An hundred measure of oil. And he said unto me, unto him, Take thy bill and sit down, and sit down quickly and write fifty. Then said he to another, And how much owest thou? And he said, An hundred measure of wheat. And he said unto him, Take thy bill and write four score. And the Lord commanded the unjust steward, because he had done wisely. For the children of the world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. And I say unto you, make to yourself friends of mammon of unrighteousness, that when ye fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitation. He that is faithful in that which is least, is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least, is unjust also in much. If therefore ye have not been faithful in your righteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? And if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's own, in, in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. And the Pharisee also, who were convertious, had all these things, and they derived and they derided him. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourself before men, 
but God knoweth your heart. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Thank you very much, ma'am. And the objective of the study today is to let Christians wear their embezzlement is a great sin before God and the canker worm in the nation's economy development. And to show that money acquired in an ungodly way can never be acceptable to God, even when spent in church. Of course, in the introduction, the question says, what is embezzlement? See, embezzlement is seen as the fraudulent conversion of the property of another person. It's been a, described as a canker worm in the nation and the national life and development, and that is global, not just in a particular sector. And this is a phenomenon that is now common both between the life of Christian and non-Christian and the government and even the Church of God. It's no excuse of this world that is being considered today, embezzlement. And of course, we talk of uh, ill-gotten wealth today. We talk in terms of uh, corruption of the high order uh, and all that it leads to it, especially it has become a sing song as far as our nation, Nigeria, is concerned. And of course, we want to look at it from the biblical point of view, from that which has been read, we can see it. And so we can say that embezzlement, just like the introduction said here, goes along with lying, stealing, and conventiousness that based on love of money, and which make us to hear from faith, and expose ourselves to dissatisfaction and many sorrows, just as we have it in 1 Timothy 6.10. Uh, then the question is, why did people run after vanity? Because if it is running after money, it got in wealth. They are all vanity upon vanity. Money definitely has become the god of many, including Christians. And so they worship it to the extent that more, the more they acquire, the more difficult it becomes for them to spend that money. It got it. I mean, you have cases of uh, nowadays they say people bury money, money in, a, in, a, in caves, in a coffin, in all this stuff. And that becomes in storage mm -hmm. and become very difficult even to, to spend. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says godliness with contentment is it's great good. gain. Now let's go into a uh, discussion um, starting from my mommy. Say, so examine the various way people are embezzling now and this. Uh, yes, if you want to look at various ways where people embezzle, like our coordinator said, that marketplace is not only where we are selling and buying alone, it might be offices, it might be government parastata uh, places. So when we are talking of the ways People are embezzling this day. One of it is that many people are they are diverting the money that is meant for the public into their own purses mm. by mismanaging it. Some they will use fund uh, diversion. yes fund diversion. They will divert the money into their purses. Some the work they ask them to do with the money they will just use token of the money mm. to do the work. Another way is that in offices when they release impress, mm. some people. Instead of using the impress for what it's supposed to be used it for, they will not use it for the actual thing. So they will, they might make an arranged meeting with people that can leak out the secrets and they will make the largest portion of it. They will share it among themselves. Another way is that in some of our cooperatives, some of the dividends that are to be given to the members of the cooperative, mm -hmm. they will just giving them token on their savings. And the remainings, they will divert to their own okay. post. Mm. Another way is in the marketplace that we mentioned the other time. Some are using fake measurements. It's part of uh, it's, yes, it's part of embezzlement. Some, something that's supposed to be 10 uh, cups, that is now 8 cups. And you will sell them for price of 10 cups. Okay. So you, 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 you acquire. Uh, uh, so mm. it's part of embezzlement. So let's check ourselves also. We are as, uh, as God called us on to. 
maybe in our public offices or in the churches. Let's check in ourselves church, also. How do come in church? It, it comes in church in diverse ways. Mm -hmm. When there is work to do in the church, the uh, like the contracts, contract. oh, yes, okay, like contracts, okay. giving it out. People may liaise or make the agreement contractor. with contractor mm -hmm. and tell them that something that's supposed to go for like 100,000, they will agree to get, let's make it Increases. 150. And so they will collect the money out they share yeah. the one on top i pray that the lord will help us in so, jesus name so viewers you can see that this embezzlement is a uh, is there and there from home to the market to offices virtually everywhere everywhere uh and we know that well by the time we are going we look at why are we actually uh discussing it whether there is need for it now let's press further. Then we, we agree that it's here and there and there and there. Then what are the causes? Especially among Christians. Because mommy you said even in the church. Let me say this is, this is, this is, this, there are two questions in one question here. Okay. Christians on one side, then the generality of the public the other side. Okay. Let's first of all take that of the generality of people, even including Christians. You know, uh, among the generality of people, poverty may be one. Poverty. Yes. Mm -hmm. When somebody is poor and he, 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 he discovers that this is, this is a means of getting out of the poverty in which I am, mm. the person tends to steal part of the money or mismanages part of the money in his care. Poverty. Second one. Okay. Uh, impunity in a way. For example, I was in, in office. When I was there, I mismanaged a lot of money. And when I left, no query, I just go away with that. Somebody Come succeeding in. me, we also say, oh, after all, this man was there. He stole as much as he could. And nobody is querying him today. So, so Let me also go. No accountability. No accountability. Without accountability, somebody also can also decide to embezzle money. Mm. Besides that, copy. Mm. Somebody had done it, I want to do it. For example, in this country, Nigeria, there has been the case of a governor who mismanaged a lot of money in the state. Today is a minister. Nobody queried him. So somebody also can say, well, let me also go. Let me pursue this office. When I get there, I will take as much as, as I, 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 I can take and nothing will come after it. Copying the wrong thing. Copying the wrong thing. Mm. So these are some of the causes. Maybe because of time, we can go elsewhere, but if you still want to add, want us to add more, we can. So you there are so many. You mentioned poverty. Poverty that, that, is that's, one. Uh, that, that, yes. that, that's very, very critical. Thank yes, you very much, sir. Mommy. And I will also had conventiousness also. Hmm. Conventiousness. Yes. Conventiousness can make people to embezzle people. Uh, money in his or her care mm. then another thing is lack of contentment when mm. people are not contented with, with what, what they, they have, have mm. definitely they attend to steal from what is in their care mm. another thing is love of money some people they are just acquiring that money that weight mm. it's not that they are lack or they are in poverty but they so much have love for the money so they have they six, seven control. cars. Yes. So the, the love was too much. And Bible says the love of money is the root of all oh, evil. evil. So some can even use people around them to do sacrifice, to make money mm -hmm. because they have so much love for it. Mm -hmm. So all these things so, so, are the so, so things that usually causes people to embezzle. Just, they are, yes, they are waking and sleeping with us mm -hmm. almost every day, everywhere, both at home and in our place. Are, and the uh, Christians, like we said, they are not, they are not insulated mm -hmm. from yes. all those uh, And the, the state of things in our country also, mm -hmm. mentality, mentality of getting rich quickly. Mm -hmm of getting rich quick. And then, then, People then, are then, always want to make it fast, make fast. It. Okay. Uh, and there is another that say, uh, there is a say that says that uh, rich quick and die young. Mm. So, and, uh, and, and die, die young. young. And of course, I think fear of the future. 
Yeah, yes. okay. Yes. Especially that, for yes. the, the, the workers. Yeah. The workers in, in, in private and in public, public sectors. Yes. What will be our future when I retire? Yeah, yeah. Yes. That I is that is that is an yeah. area, especially yes. in our nation, because it's talking about our nation now. Yes. So we can see that uh, what well, because of me in the future, uh when I retire and nothing comes, yes. well, this is my opportunity now. May God deliver us. Amen. Now Thank we can see. look at the third uh, the third uh, questions that say what is God's position on God on this issue of uh, embezzlement of public fund, especially in our society, and then what should be our own attitude as children of God? Thank you, sir. God hates embezzlement. Mm. God's position is that of punishment. If you steal God's money, you are going to be punished. Yeah, um, let's look at that issue of um, this man, the treasurer of the twelve. He was stealing money, and Judas. Judas. Mm-hmm. He was stealing money because he had the purse, and no, no, no. There wasn't anything like auditing account then. Whatever you are, you 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 say that has been spent is what Jesus Christ would say where it has been spent. So it got to the extent that. He could no longer curtail himself to the extent that he went eventually to say Jesus Christ is master for Mm. a token, for a pittance. So eventually he died, a a kind of horrendous death. So God, God, God has punishment for whoever steals his money. And also, if not for the country in which we are, and it has been said globally, all over the world now, many people have their ways of stealing money and they will go away with it. But at the same time, God has a way of punishing them. It's mm. either they die young without spending the money. Mm. What happened in Nigeria about maybe some 20 years ago in 1998, a, a, a military president who amassed a lot of money and eventually died without spending a dime out mm. of the money. Mm. Uh, so the, the God's, mm. God's position is that that of punishment or death. God will judge. In other words, the issue of embezzlement is out of it as far as God is concerned. Yes, there can be no excuse no. for doing no. so. No. As far no, as no God, excuse. the righteous no. God is uh, concerned. No. Uh, the Lord who wants to care for everyone equitably yes. as far as he's concerned. Yes. Now, we can then go down. Now that we know the mind of God, that God hates this and that there is even every punishment then what then must be the position of the church to money that comes from embezzlement as a gift to the church as the church of god we know god frowns at it so the church of god should take their stand and reject such gifts reject such gifts. yes the church of god should take their stand and reject such gifts as long as they know the source of it that is very, not godly. As long as they know, know the, the source, source of, okay. the, of the money. In, in other words, they, they, they look at the personality Mati, yes. of the person, person giving, giving. The type of his work is doing. Giving. Commensurate with, with what, what is, is giving. giving. Yes. I mean, that, that will be able you know, to know to, to, to weigh, weigh that. You, a salary earner nah. on, on uh, level 16 or 17, 17 and it's giving 10 million <laughs> naira as a donation. Uh-huh. Where is it from? Yeah. So, I think, I think, uh, I think uh, my brother, do we agree to that uh, one? Yes, uh, because it, it, it's it very is critical true. now. It is true, but I want to say, I, I, I won't say I pity, but at times I feel for our pastors because they don't know the sources from which money comes from. For example, I'm a member of a church, and I do business. I'm a businessman. Businessman. Uh-huh. So it may be difficult for you to measure the. The, 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 the gain the, that the I degree. make, that, the degree of the gain that I make in my business to have brought so much. So in a way, it is difficult for the church. It may. It may be difficult for the church to know. Especially for businessmen. Yes, for, pe- for uh-huh. people in business. But okay. for people that are maybe uh, on, on paid salary, uh-huh. whose, whose salary or the level you know. You can uh-huh. know. You can know that one. But today, may I ask, do churches reject such money? 
Even when they know. Even when they know. <laughs> That's the question. Yes. That's the question. Do they? Do they? Do the church reject us? Uh, and you uh, not look the, the other way and yes. say, well, God has bring the, this one and we accept the yes. way it is. That's so, God's person. Uh, God will deliver his church. Amen. As far as God is concerned, he said it's coming. Will he find faith? And part of the faith he said is will he buy, find credibility, trustworthiness, purity and holiness and the halter, even at the stake of uh, whatever is going on globally. May the Lord open the eyes of our church fathers Amen. to be able to know which one is true riches and which one will come. Because we have cases in this nation that they, they caught somebody and they say, he's the one who bought car, he's the one who bought generator, he's the one who... And this is a, more or less somebody working under another person. You see now. And then it becomes uh, a, a disgrace to the church, to the household of faith. Then may God deliver his church. Amen. And then uh, we, we press further on the question that we have here. Uh, where, if invariably, the church comes to the knowledge that the query or the discern that the source of this person's uh, which is, is uh, questionable. The question is, how can the church help the members from falling victim of such act? Thank you, sir. I mentioned it a little while ago, and you mentioned it as well. If, for example, a source of income to the church through a congregation or a member of the church is questionable, and the church rejects it, that rejection is enough. That rejection itself is enough to teach others that in this church, just, just ungodly money cannot be brought into this church by anybody. So that's one way of teaching. Second one, in-depth Bible studies on wealth acquisition and dangers of too much love of money can be used to help members of the church. So study. Yes. Exposing them to the word of God. Yes. That, can, be, that can expose evil. Yes, sir. That may want to come even subtly, yes. unknowingly, creating. Yeah. Uh, Thank um, you, sir. Uh, is there any other thing that the church can do? Mm, you've talked about the teaching of the word of God. Another thing is that anybody that we realize that is in such problem, we can call them to order and correct them in love. Mm -hmm. Not all things that we can address publicly. Mm -hmm. If we know some people that are in such situation, the ministers of God can call them and encourage them to make and to mend their ways. Mm -hmm. Privately teach them the word of God, make them know the mind of God, that God cannot be bribed and he is a rewarder and is a recorder. He takes account and record of everything that we are doing. So we, he can, we cannot bribe him with anything. So they should not think that at least I'm using part of the money for the work of oh, God, God that I will escape the judgment. No, no, it's not possible. Our God is righteous call, God and he will bring every act. And pray with you yes, on top of it. Yes, he will bring yeah. every act mm. to judgment one day. Making so them to know the danger they does, here, Yes, the there. danger there. And they are just walking and, in vain. Yes, and, and every act is a seed. They are sowing seed for the future. For so, beyond. yes. Maybe you are a corporate, or maybe one way or the other, you know somebody somewhere whose uh, source of income or whose uh, activities is questionable. You have heard it that God can use you to call that person into order. You know, we are, we are saying a lot about our nation, Nigeria, and what is going on. And uh, we, are, we, are, we are believing God that studies like this, exposition like this, we have to correct a lot of things because if it's not corrected, uh, the end result is very, very dangerous. Like we, we can see in the life of uh, people like uh, Judas in the scripture. Uh, God will de deliver us and deliver the church and deliver our nation as well. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now the concluding part here says, it's necessary for Christians to watch, check, and desist from all forms of ungodly practices in our marketplace. We have said that marketplace is not just where we buy, in mm. our places of uh, 
endeavor here and there, the church of God, governance, and in business transaction, so as to maintain our relationship with God, we whom we re represent here on earth, which is very, very uh, basic. And we must be able to live consciously that we shun every ungodly, remember we say ungodly practices, ungodly, anything that is ungodly, we must run away from such. And uh, we believe that doing so, God himself will help us. Can we look at the memory verse here? The memory verse here, 1 Timothy 6, 6 and 7. But godliness with contentment is great gain. But godliness, godliness with contentment is great gain. gain. For we brought nothing into this world. For we brought we nothing into this world. world. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. I think we have heard that. Yeah. Godliness, even with very little, great gain. No matter how rich you are or how poor you are, you are not going away from this world with a dime, like they used to say. So let's be conscious of that one and run from all appearances of evil. May God bless us. Amen. Once again, we want to thank our brother and our father who have been here to share with us. God will continue to enrich you Amen. and empower you. Amen. And thank our you, mommy, sir. we are equally grateful. And we pray that God bless you be upon your home. Amen. We are also grateful to our engineer who has been there to record us all the while. God will bless you into the future as well. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you once again for the little we've been able to share. We know the social evil will devil us as a nation, as a community, as a church even at this time. The Lord and the Christ for money. Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you make us a faithful servant of yours. Because Amen. you say you have committed mystery things into our hand, mm. especially as your children. May we remain faithful stewards Amen. that which you have committed unto us. Amen. May you clean and cleanse your church, Amen. making it right, standing, Amen. and being able to correct where they are heroes Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.